Welcome to another edition of Liberated Perspectives on the Nambooro Media Collective's uh, outlet, UNI TV. Uh, today we're joined by Alexis Robinson, who is an undergraduate student at the University of Maryland and uh, not just a, a student worker in the Nambooro Cultural Center, but an ambassador that works directly with the Nambooro's Black Male Initiative, otherwise known as the BMI uh, Health Initiative, that is not just limited to um, black males, but it's, it's open to uh, black women, people of all genders, sexual orientations, and the like. Um, Alexis, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and, and how you became involved in this program that was started years ago? Yeah, sure. So I'm a senior public policy major. Um, I've been at UMD since fall 2016. Um, and I was really active in high school. Like, I was a three sport athlete. Um, I was always getting into something like active and stuff like that um, and so when I came to college and I didn't play any sports um, I really wanted to like maintain that activity and like that active lifestyle and so um, I found out about the, the BMI Health Initiative and I decided to join because they were talking about how it's like intense workouts you know 60 minutes only an hour of your time um, and so I decided to join because I could fit that in my schedule at the time um, and so I did and the leader at the time, her name was Jasmine, she she pushed me like really hard. Um, but I, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Um, and it just reminded me, I got like that same workout high that I got from high school with some of the workouts. It was terrible, but it was great at the same time. Um, and it even got to a point, I was coming so consistently that like there would be days where Jasmine would cancel. And, you know, I just felt weird for not working out. So I started to, like, work out on my own. Um, yeah, so I just stuck with it, you know, over and over. I stuck with it. And, you know, eventually Jasmine graduated and then Solomon offered me the position. Um, and, you know, I, you know, I was happy to accept because I'm really passionate about, like, working out and being healthy. And I like to see that in other people as well. Just, like, the look on people's face when they conquer what they thought was, like, an impossible workout is, like priceless so yeah that's a little bit about me and how I got involved and have you seen improvements in your overall health and and regimen you know since being you know more involved in the student I mean this this program even though you were a student athlete in high school um, you said you mentioned that it was kind of like a continuation of the workouts that you um, that you embarked upon and you were involved in when you were an a, a scholar athlete um, have you seen uh, a resumption of that, a continuation of that by being involved in this program? Yeah, so when I had um, originally started, um, I realized, like, you know, you're late for the bus and stuff like that, so, like, you do, like, a quick little jog. Before I started the workouts, I would be out of breath, you know, a flight of stairs, you know, for a class on the second floor would kind of take me out. But um, after doing the workouts and stuff like that, you know, I would have to do that jog for the bus and I wasn't tired you know stairs were fine like I just I know it was like small things you know because you know with the Nimburu Health Initiative you're not really training for anything like you just want to be healthy so like you know you couldn't really see your progress over time like you could in like game situations and stuff if you're a high school athlete but like just in like those little things like I noticed I wasn't winded I could walk for longer periods of time you know I felt more energized throughout my day just little things like that let me know that like okay like this is you know really helping me out like help with a healthy lifestyle right um, folks are watching right now undoubtedly people are watching right now and wanting to get in, uh, more involved in this program students undergrads we know the program has opened up where we have faculty and staff administrators at the University of Maryland that have joined you for workouts you know under your you know stewardship mm -hmm. what um, you know, what what can you tell them in terms of how can they how can they get involved? But then also, what is the schedule like? They might say, "Hey, you know, um, you know, I, I, I can only do these days." Um, you know, how do you how do you structure the the schedule? And and is it something that's conducive where people can can participate at their leisure in terms of how their schedule um, may fluctuate and and how it can open up to you know to different time slots. Right, so um, you can get involved, so that's the first part of the question, you can get involved by contacting either me, myself, or Solomon at our respective emails. There's an email, there's an email, there's a blast email that goes out 
just about at the beginning of every single semester and a little bit at the midway point of each semester. Um, so just reach out to us. There's orientation that kind of like prepares you for the type of like workouts you're about to do. Um, and yeah, and then you'll be added to the group chat and then that's where I post the schedule for the semester's workouts. The semesters do, uh, excuse me, the workout schedule does fall in accordance to my schedule, but I do try to be flexible where I place like a morning workout time and an evening workout time. And just based on feedback in the past and like who I've spoken to that have like been involved in the program, they've told me that, you know, 9 a.m., 8 a.m. workouts are too early. So I try to, you know, accommodate that when thinking about my schedule. Even when I'm scheduling classes, you know, for myself, I try to keep this program and you guys' needs in mind. So workouts for this semester I can speak to, and a little bit of last semester, workouts were like at 10 a.m., they're only an hour long, not even that sometimes, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Um, and then there's sometimes workouts, in, not sometimes, there are workouts in the evening, and they vary between you know, three to four, or like five to six, or one semester we even had workout seven to eight, because that's when, you know, we took a poll in the group chat, and that's when people said they were the most available. So it's really dependent upon you guys, and then also if I make a schedule that doesn't work with your schedule, so you can always reach out to Solomon, he's available to, you know, work out with you and like help you, you know, get healthy on his own time, and like he'll, he's very willing to like work with your schedule. And what kind of workouts do you do? Can you give us the whole kind of scope. Um, I know you, you know you do Pilates and you've done Pilates and yoga, mm -hmm. but, but you do much more than that. What, are, what okay. are the scope of the workouts that you actually do? Yeah, so we try to get people like, we do like conditioning type workouts. So what that looks like is, uh, especially in the fall semester when it's still kind of warm, you know, coming off of summer, we go to the track um, over at by Coalfield House and you know we I try to build you guys up so we don't like just start you know immediately run a five minute mile that's that's not at all what it is what we do we try to like build you up to get to your fitness goal so for instance um people say they want to be healthier I believe a firm part of that is like cardio and having a good you know conditioning base and so what that means is we'll go to the track and the first couple weeks or so we'll probably start with half a mile which is only two laps around the track so what we'll do is something like we'll sprint the straight and then jog the turn or walk the turn again I provide variations for like what you can do so the original workout is sprint the straight jog the turn for a half a mile but what I do because I understand people are coming in at different levels if I recognize that you know based on your answers to our questionnaire that you are you know just trying to get into the swing of working out then I'll tell you to jog the straight and walk the turn you know just to like get your heart rate going um, if I notice that you're like an enemy level, like we've been working out, but you just want some form of accountability, which is the reason why I joined, um, then, you know, I'll give you like the actual workouts. And then there are some uh, participants in the program that are above, you know, where, you know, the average participant is. And, you know, I'll modify the workout for them. So it'll be like, all right, so I want you to jog the whole lap at 75% and then take a break, you know, like maybe like walk a straight and then a turn and then come back and then do another 75%. So there's different variations of like what you can do for the workouts and we try to accommodate it to your skill level so nobody's like intimidated or it's like too much for people. And then so after the cardio portion of the workout, we do some sort of like push-ups, sit-ups. I'm also always very open to feedback. like. I listen to what you guys' goals are and I modify the workouts for that. Like for instance, um, last sem or two semesters ago, we had a student and it was the fall semester. So normally we would be outside and stuff like that. And then I just asked her, I said, you know, what are your fitness goals? And she told me that she wanted to be stronger and she wanted to, you know, be able to lift heavy things. So instead of, so we, at that resulted in me shifting the workout so instead of us going outside all the time we did incorporate some of that but we mostly went to Epley and we mostly went to SPH and we did a whole bunch of like weightlifting and stuff like that so she can see the results and become stronger and you know the workouts were more tailored to her goals. Workout. Do you, is there any discussion about what kinds of foods you know people should and shouldn't be put in their bodies and 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 the whys like so that they carry um, you know through lifetime you know, an understanding about moderation that, you know, you know, 
you don't want to be taking in junk food every single day or fast food every single day. The importance of taking in whole foods and, and things of that nature. Is there any discussion about, about those kinds, about nutrition, just general nutrition? Yeah, we definitely do do, um, that is a big part of the program, talking about nutrition and healthy foods. And I'll be honest, I feel like that's more Solomon's alley. Um, he's the one that normally like leads the discussion on those things and you know of the sort like that. I remember one time to kind of encourage students to eat healthier and be healthier after workouts. Um, one of our workouts last semester was we took a jog to Smoothie King and we jogged there and then we were able to get like smoothies and talk about like nutrition and like healthy lifestyle and healthy living as we like drink our smoothies. Um, so that's like one way we incorporate it, but I know Solomon mostly hosts like, you know, seminars and stuff like that. And we're gonna try to incorporate more nutrition based, like I was thinking more of incorporating more like nutrition based um, sit talks or conversations, I would say, you know, while we're doing workouts or like maybe even in place of a workout itself because there's just such a vast, you know, array of like topics to cover and stuff like that. and like. I know mostly people's like fears that you know eating healthy or nutritious is like yes it'll be good for you but like it'll taste bad and stuff like that but you know that's not always the case um you know especially like for instance at the end of every single workout session or semester we reward the um consistent participants with a trip to new vegan where it's completely vegan food um, no type of animal products in their food whatsoever. And, you know, we take um, the consistent participants there. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And, you know, they eat there and they're actually very surprised about how good, you know, vegan food can be. Um, and I remember that actually, like, that encouraged me. Every time I go to New Vegan, I tell myself, you know, I'm, I'm going to do this, I'm going to be healthier. But, yeah, so. Thank you. And and lastly, where do you see, um, you know, uh, you're going to graduate eventually. Where do you see this program going into the future? And wh what would you like to see? Um, like, what's your goal? I mean, you, you know, it, yes, it's a job, but you also clearly have a passion about this. Like, um, where, where would you like to see this program go? Where do you see it going in the future? And those folks that go through the program and that will in eventually graduate, where do you see, where would you like to see them take their 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 um, the habits that they've learned that you've taught them um, you know throughout their duration and tenure in this program right so the future I really see for the be in my health initiative um, it's just that I would really like to help students develop a more healthier lifestyle whatever that looks like for them um, so for instance I we had a student last semester who kind of had the same testimony I did. He would come to workouts, he was, you know, enjoying the workouts, they pushed him, and, you know, he was able to, like, see the results, and there was a time where I had to cancel workouts because I had, like, a meeting with my professor or something like that, um, and he told me, he was like, yeah, you know, I just, it felt really weird, you know, not working out, so I ended up, like, working out on my own a little bit, and, like, that really, like, put the biggest smile on my face, because it was, like, you know, what we're teaching and, like, what we're doing is, like, actually taking root, and, you know, he's able to develop his own healthy lifestyle. Um, so that's really what I see for, like, participants in the near future. Like, I would really enjoy, I would really love it if you know they're able to take the tools that we give them here in this program and apply it to like their lives and stuff like that um i would also like to see just more a more intimate group setting if that makes sense so for instance like we're not really big on numbers and we've never really like tried to harp on that honestly we do like the the small close-knit feel I think the most we've ever had come to a workout was eight people including myself which you know that may sound like oh not impressive or anything but like you really do build like accountability between the close-knit community you know you're you're more transparent and like open about like your struggles with like eating healthy or working out and there's a support group there so just a more consistent intimate group of students you know in this program is what my big my vision is for uh the new brewery health initiative once i graduate thank you so much for all the good work you do and 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 being a great ambassador for this program um you know and thank you for spending the time to 
tell us more about the program and the work you do with students and faculty and staff uh, in the broader campus community. Yeah, Thank no you. problem.